Well, this time we'll deal with a function that has both a uh, horizontal shift and a vertical shift. So we'll we'll deal with something like this: g of x equals uh, uh, f of x plus or minus h plus or minus k. So let's let our f of x equal x squared and when we graph that we have a parabola whose x and y intercepts occur at the origin. There's our vertex and it's also the location of the x and y intercepts. Now let's evaluate f of, well we know f of whatever equals whatever squared. So let's put an x plus 3 here. If we do that we must put an x plus 3 there. Also, let's let k equal negative 4. So now we have g of x equal to x plus 3 quantity squared minus 4. And we want to know what the zero of this expression is. So to do that we'll let x plus 3 equals 0. And solving for x we get x equals negative 3. So the value of x that will take this to 0 is negative 3. So now let's evaluate g of negative 3. And when we do that, of course, this will be 0, which, and if you square 0, you get 0. And we just get back a minus 4, which uh, uh, results in uh, or corresponds to the ordered pair. x is negative 3, and when x is negative 3, y, or g of negative 3, is negative 4. And it turns out that negative 3, negative 4 is our translated, or uh, excuse me, vertex, negative 3, negative 4. In other words, we've translated the vertex of uh, the parabola from the origin to the point negative 3, negative 4. Now, let's go a little farther. Let's find out what the y-intercept is. So we'll evaluate g of 0. And replacing x with 0, we just have 3 squared, which is 9. We still have our friend negative 4 there. So g of 0 equals 5. So now we know that the y-intercept is at 0, 5. And let's graph our function. And there it is. Good. Well, <clears throat> let's discuss another type of transformation and that's a reflection about the x-axis. And it has the form g of x equals negative f of x. So let's let f of x equal x squared. And we know the graph of f of x is a parabola whose vertex is at the origin. The x and y intercepts both occur at the origin. And we know that f of 0 equals 0. So when x is 0, y is 0, those are the coordinates of the origin. Now let's consider g of x. So g of x 
equals negative f of x, but that's negative x squared. And uh, g of 0 equals negative, and replacing x with 0, we get negative 0, which is 0. So the corresponding ordered pair is when x is 0, y is 0. And what we have is a parabola whose vertex occurs at 0, 0. Now if we look at g of uh, 1, what we get is negative 1 squared, which is negative 1. So we'll go over 1 and down 1, and as you can see, we have a parabola, but it is has been flipped over the x-axis, and we call that a reflection. And we're done. Finally, let's talk about vertically stretching or compressing a function. So the form we're looking at is g of x equals a times f of x. And so if f of x equals x squared, we know the graph of this is a parabola, vertex at the origin, and a point on this graph, if x is 2, y will be 4. f of 2 is 4. So, uh, let's let uh, a equal 2, for example. So 2 times f of x. g of x equals 2 times f of x. That is, g equals 2 times x squared, and g of, we'll put 2 in for x, so we'll put 2 in for x and square that, and we have 2 times, and 2 squared is 4, Four, and that equals 8. So what we've done if we go over 2 we'll go up, we now have a y value of 8. So the uh, y value has been adjusted by a factor of 2, whatever, or in general, by a factor of a. Let's try one more. How about this? h of x equals 1 half times f of x. That equal, is equals 1 half x squared. So h of uh, 2 equals 1 half times 2 squared, which equals 1, uh, if we square 2, we get 4, 1 half of 4 is 2. And the corresponding graph is a parabola. and we'll go out two units, and the y value has been adjusted by a factor of one-half, and we have a corresponding y value of two. And uh, we're done.